Hello Earth citizens! In this video, I will teach you a 10-minute routine for your governing meridian. Your governing meridian is a long energy channel that runs through the back side of your body. So from your tailbone all the way up the back side of your body. So it includes your spine. So these exercises are great for people who have a lot of back pain. Tailbone, sacrum, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck, back of your head. If you have pain along any of these points, it's a blockage in the governing meridian. So to start, let's do some rolling back exercises to loosen up your entire backside. So how you do rolling back is sit sideways on your mat, grab the back of your thigh, and roll along your spine up to your neck and up. So I usually don't recommend going past the neck because a lot of people have neck problems. So don't crunch your neck, just go safely up to your shoulders and feel the massage along your tailbone and spine as you use your body weight against gravity. Okay, let's do 20 times. One, two, don't hold your breath, make sure you breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you feel your spine? Relax and exhale. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20, lie down, hug your thighs, and rock side to side. Loosen up your lower back and sacrum. <sighs> side to side. Great job. Now, bring your legs down, feet on the floor, knees bent, and your arms by your side. Let's start with a little bit of windshield wipers. So, turn your knees to the right side and look to your left. And switch, knees to the left, turn to the right. Switch. 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 And last time, switch. And back to center. Okay, now let's loosen up our pelvis area first. So while lying down in this posture, lift your tailbone and drop. So it's very important. So this is the key. You lift your tailbone as high as you can by squeezing your butt cheeks and then you just drop. So it's not lift and gently place down. It's lifting and drop. The drop will create vibration to open blockages in your tailbone and sacrum. So these hip bounces we will do 30 times. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lift and drop. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, Three, four, five, lift, drop. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. 
three, two, one, and stop. Can you feel the vibration in your tailbone? Maybe you feel some pain and stinging or itchiness in your tailbone. That's blocked energy opening. You're doing a great job. Now we'll do a little bit more of the hip bounces, except this time we're gonna go double speed and make little movements. So you don't have to lift as high as before. Just lift a little bit, but tap lightly like this. Okay, you'll feel a slightly different sensation, still opening your sacrum, opening your tailbone. All right, this one let's do 50 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Feel your tailbone. Breathe out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine forty one two three four five six seven eight nine fifty. Great job. Stretch your legs out. Stretch your legs out. Let's take three deep breaths in and exhaling out through your mouth. Deep breath in, expand your abdomen. Deep breath out, breathe out from your abdomen. Ready? Start. As you breathe out, release tension from your body. Last one. <sighs> Great job. Now, Bend your elbows, and this time we're going to tap right behind our chest, our heart area. So middle back tapping looks like this. You wanna lift using your elbows, push down from your elbows to lift, and then drop. So here, same thing as the hips, you have to drop. The dropping is what creates the opening of the blockage. If you just gently place down, it won't be as stimulating as if you just drop, okay? So drop, let's do 30 times. All right, ready? Lift as high as you can, drop. It should feel like the wind is getting knocked out of you. Two, three, four, feel that sensation. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Do you feel like the wind is getting knocked out of you? If you feel that way, you're doing it right. Please breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Last ten. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now last one, we will end with a breathing posture. This breathing posture is called Ilchi posture. It's called Ilchi because of the finger shape that you have to make. So you have to point your index finger up like this. Ilchi means index finger. So index finger posture. So bring your fingers like this, like a number one on both hands. And you're going to slowly bring your arms up over your head. Rest your arms, bring your legs shoulder width apart. Drop your shoulders. Keep everything relaxed in your body, except for your index finger. Index finger is pointed straight. And now what this posture does is it elongates your spine. 
it elongates your body by stretching you out like this. So keep your index finger straight. Close your eyes and breathe comfortably. If you can, breathe deep and long. With each breath, try to relax your muscles 2% more than before. If you're very sensitive to energy, you will feel that this posture creates space between your spine, between your vertebrae. Relax your knees, relax your legs. Relax your ankles, feet, and toes. Relax your hips, abdomen, chest, neck, and shoulders. We will hold this posture for just one minute. Relax your body as much as you can. With each breath, letting go of your tension more and more. Whatever you are holding on to, physically, emotionally, let it all go. Breathe it out. Now on your next exhale, slowly bring your arms back down and place your hands on your abdomen. Open your eyes and now slowly turn your body to the left and sit up please. How do you feel? Does your spine feel more open? Does your back feel more free? If you can still recognize some tension that you're holding on to, feel free to rewatch this video to let go of even more. And at any time when you feel that the tension comes back, feel free to rewatch this video to let go of that tension one more time. You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.